Hey guys, great Scott moment. And picture yourself walking into a restaurant, some place, a nice steakhouse. You're really excited, you brought your family, and you guys are sitting down. And, you know, in the middle of the table is a tablet. And it's got like the menu and everything, and you guys can fiddle around with it and say, oh, look at that. And oh, it brings up a picture of the meal, and oh, good, like, and, they, and you can order up a salad and everything. And then, what you do is you order up a salad and then order goes right back to the kitchen. And while you're waiting for your meal, the kids get to play games on their tablet and blah, 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 and you know, jump in and fire and mom and dad get to have a conversation or you know, however it might be in your your family. And the next thing you know, you know, someone comes out and and brings you your drinks and your your meal and then they go back. And at the end of the meal, get out your credit card and you swipe your tablet or you punch in your, your credit card information and then you paid. And then you get up and you leave. And there's been almost no customer service, no one to greet you, no one to, you know, seat you, no one to ask you if you've been doing okay and how was your meal. Um, it's a very automated system. And so, that is not a fantasy picture, okay? That's happening in the Outback. A friend of mine went to up in Seattle area. And more and more companies are realizing that they can't afford their employees. And I read an article where they were talking about Obamacare and that most companies are gonna have to fire most of their employees because they will not be able to pay all the taxes for, for the, the Medicare that's there. Or um, they're just going to end up paying the fines and not worrying about investing in that, that system. So businesses right now are in a real crunch because they can't pay the taxes and they don't want to pay the taxes. And employees are the biggest expense and to, to you know multiply that. So there's already talk of you know, like, like the, I talked about the airport where it's nothing but kiosks, okay? You don't get to go to the customer service counter and have the lady run through everything, but you got to go to that little slider and, and then type in all your airport information. And, and for a lot of people, that's okay until there's a problem and you need someone to help you. Um, <clears throat> a lot of um, your shopping, you're going to go to the mall and you're going to go inside your old Navy, okay? And you're going to look around and no, 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 no thanks. But there won't be anyone to no, no, no thanks. You're just looking at the clothes. Okay? And then you try on the clothes. And then you go to the front desk kiosk and you swipe your card or zap your, your smartphone and it's paid for. And then you just walk out with maybe a pseudo security guy to make sure you actually pay for all your stuff. Um, this is the way uh, our future is going which means there's not room for a whole lot of employees. And so, again, this is kind of a call to action is, if you're not interested in starting a small home business or an online business or something, you know, the trend is definitely people are going to be spending money online. That's already gonna happen, that's a done deal. Yes, people like the social abilities of going to a mall and stuff like that, but they're still going to be buying online. And it's getting to the point where, yes, it will be have to spend online. It's a cashless society. And so what happens when all these people start losing their jobs? If you don't have a second income, if you don't have a business or something that you've invested to invest in others, to accrue a market share of anything, whatever it is, if it's health food products or, or weight loss or uh, Amazon.com of your own, um, if you're not doing something like that, something that your heart is invested into, then it's going to be a very scary future for you. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that. Um, Please go to my website, check out some of the things I'm doing, some of the free training that I have, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.